Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Put him on the leash today. <laughs> Just get too worried about thinking about which way he's going. Oh, you can smell the salt in the air. Hey, what's that? <laughs> yeah, you may remember this one. I retrieved it from over the cliff. Uh, I'm going to reconstruct the flagpole. What's you barking at, bro? What you barking at, Rex? <laughs> that only makes him bark more. All right, got to hide from the wind again today. It's uh, Tuesday, May 10th. Let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, day four of this wind, which I call a high barometer nor'easter. It has more to do with high pressure, or as much to do with high pressure over southeastern Canada and low pressure, which is weakening, but sitting and spinning like a ball in a bag south of Long Island. Well, it's actually east of Cape Hatteras now where there are wind advisories and the outer banks of North Carolina. It's still gusting past 40. We're only gusting 20 to 30 right now. Yay. But you can see the air uh, that uh, tower in Winthrop. Oh, you can't quite see it. Getting kind of salty. I looked at the webcams in the Northeast surfing. I wanted to check out the waves, which now the buoy off of Boston has nine feet, 11 seconds from the east, southeast. But all those cameras over in Hull are all salted and sanded. So I looked at the camera in Rhode Island and Newport looked kind of clean, but it looks downright frightening. And Narragansett, Rhode Island this morning, high tide and an offshore wind, tides going out. I think Newport, Rhode Island is the call for trying to surf today. I may actually try that. Look at the gull pointing into the wind. So fun watching the birds and the hawks out the window. Just, uh, they, they like this kind of weather because they can kind of sit in position and watch their, their prey on the ground. Not much is going to change. You know what's going to happen, though, is the dew point is going to come up. The water temperature is in the 40s, but the dew point's been in the 20s and 30s. It's dry enough air that we actually have critical fire danger in southern New Hampshire. Red flag warning today. I think that might be the first red flag warning of the season. A lot of fires burning. Uh, they get going real fast, so you get the fire danger away from the ocean. What's going to happen, though, the dew point's going to come up next couple of days. We're going to have a lower cloud come in off the ocean. And places like Boston and Hull, it's actually going to turn mostly cloudy on Wednesday and Thursday with a temperature holding in the 60s, while inland we warm up through the 60s and 70s to probably 80 in Burlington, Vermont tomorrow. It's going to take days and days, though, for that warm to hot weather to try and get to the coast, and I'm not sure it's going to even happen. The Euro now has no 80-degree days in Boston. GFS still has a few. Kind of depends what we're going to do with that low-level moisture over the next few days, so it's not a very easy forecast at all. That's by the shore. Inland, it looks pretty nice. Uh, this morning, we only had a couple of areas near freezing. Freiburg was 28, Whitefield. New Hampshire was 28 degrees, so it's the last of the really cold nights inland, but the heat is on inside the house again today. And the temperature gets close to 60. I want it closer to 70. <laughs> yeah, first world problems, right? It is a very pretty day again today, but uh, it really does change over the next couple of days. So we're going to head to the shore. going to try and do a little surfing today for the first time in a long time. See you at the shore.